Tis the season for pumpkin beer. Today I'm going to do a review of four of the most popular pumpkin beers. The first beer that I'm going to review is Southern Tears Pumpkin. Oh, almost forgot. With me today I have Greco and Kevin. Remember to pour your beer at about a 45 degree angle. I've broken down my rating scale into four simple categories that are going to be rated from one to five. It's appearance, aroma, taste, and the artwork on the bottle just for fun. Okay. Appearance. It's a very uh, medium to dark copper color. Uh, I'm going to give it a four. Aroma. You can smell the pumpkin spice that's in here and some of the malt. Overall, I give the aroma a four. Now let's move on to taste, my favorite part. Definitely can taste the pumpkin in there. Uh, the malts blend nicely with it. And overall, I think I'm going to give the taste a 4. And now, just for fun, I'm going to do a review of the artwork. I do like how the jack-o'-lantern has the little crown on there. And it's in like a, maybe a pumpkin patch type of thing. And overall, I'm going to give the artwork a 5. And for the people who are watching that may be new to craft beer, um, I'm also going to tag on a drink level of beginner, intermediate, and expert. And I would say that this is a beginner level uh, pumpkin beer. Now to cleanse my palate in between beers, I'm going to have a saltine cracker and a little bit of water to also stay hydrated. The next beer that I'm going to review is Schlafly's Pumpkin Ale. Kevin likes holding beer caps. Let's go with the appearance. It's a dark copper color. Uh, brown, almost kind of like the desk here. And I'm going to give it a 5. Now let's move on to the aroma. Uh, you can definitely smell the malt in there. Um, a little bit of pumpkin. The cinnamon in there is actually stronger than the pumpkin. And overall, I'm going to give it a 3. Now let's move on to taste. The cinnamon pulls through the most. Uh, it goes down uh, very nice, very smooth. And uh, not as much pumpkin as the cinnamon. And I'm going to give it a 4. I'm going to do a review of the artwork just for fun. Um, it's all in their orange going along with the pumpkin. Um, it's kind of plain though, so I'm going to give it a 2. As a drink level, I'm going to give it a intermediate. Next beer on the list is New Holland's Ichabod. <laughs> Let's go with appearance. It actually has a almost similar appearance to pumpkin, so in that manner I'm going to give it a 4. For this one, the aroma actually smells of nutmeg and cinnamon, um, maybe a little pumpkin. And for that, I'm going to give it a 3. And now the taste for Ichabod. You can taste the pumpkin and the cinnamon. It has a little bit more of a kick at the end of an aftertaste. And so I'm going to give it a 3. And now I'm going to review the artwork for fun. And it's kind of basic, but it has the Headless Horseman type of thing going on with it. And I think that's kind of amusing. So uh, I'm going to give it a 5. For a drink level, um, I'm going to give Ichabod a Intermediate. And last on the list is O'Fallon's Pumpkin Beer.
So the appearance of this one is still kind of that um, golden brown, copper color, and uh, just normal. I'm going to give it a four. Now the aroma. This one actually smells, I think, the most of pumpkin. Uh, you can smell a little bit of cinnamon in there. And for that, I'm going to give it a four. Moving on to taste. Definitely flows uh, the best in your mouth. Uh, it's smooth going down. Um, there's definitely some pumpkin in there. Um, I like the way it kind of lingers in the back of your mouth a little bit, but not overpowering of an aftertaste. And for taste, I'm going to give it a five. Now I'm going to review the uh, artwork on the bottle just for fun. Um, it's basically just a pumpkin, a uh, jack-o'-lantern actually, with uh, a little bit of background, some fall leaves maybe in there, and uh, I'm just going to give it a three. For O'Fallon, I'm going to give it a drink level of beginner. Overall, uh, with appearance, aroma, and taste, uh, Pumpkin received a 4 out of 5. Overall, Shawfly received a 4 out of 5. Ichabod received a 3.3 out of 5. O'Fallon received the highest score with a 4.3 out of 5. Overall, these are excellent pumpkin beers and I would recommend them to you. Remember to drink responsibly. Remember to like share and subscribe this video and keep coming back for more until next time cheers all of the beers in today's video were pumpkin beers and they all pretty much had three main ingredients in common that Greco reminded me about uh, they have clove which is right here nutmeg which is right here and last but not least cinnamon